Hi friends, this is Jarvis. Welcome back to more guitar reviews brought to you from the Guitar Spar. And my name is Jarvis, and I am so excited because look at this headstock. Look at this headstock. It's a uh, yes, it's a Collins, and this is a Collins CJ SB. CJ stands for a uh, CJ Jumbo, uh, and uh, CJ Jumbo with a sunburst top beautiful sunburst top just have a look at this in fact they say that uh, besides uh, Gibson um, Collins is the one that charges I mean sprays really beautiful sunburst tops on on their guitars and they charge a premium on this just have a look at this you know it, it will look really good on stage and this is a uh, CJ that just sent it to me. I'm going to fit a Anthem pickup on this guitar. But uh, before I fit an Aerobex Anthem pickup, I just thought that maybe I'll just do a review. Let's get started. This, the top of this guitar is a tight green, uh, tight green Sitka top. If you actually email, email Collins, they'll tell you that they only use master grade tops. Master grade tops and uh, they are woods for the back and sides go through at least uh, one year or more than one year of uh, drying process before they even use it. They need to bring that the wood up to a certain humidity level uh, before they, they can use it. So long term in the expect, it, it's a more stable, you have a more stable guitar. Okay, let's uh, dive in. See cut top on the top, uh, master grade with a nice uh, pick guard. A, the uh, bridge and the fretboard are all uh, ebony with a small uh, two women marker uh, dot markers inlays on the fretboard the headstock is uh, ebony because uh, they, they normally do uh, what I call a Brazilian rosewood uh, head plate but because uh, they have to ship it out of uh, USA so what they do is to prevent any complications or problems with situs agreement they fitted this with the ebony head plate and the whole guitar is bound in ivory ivory which is green Ivory actually is plastic, you know, it looks a bit uh, uh, what I call yellowish in color with the stripes green. It's what we call ivory, not ivory. Now, the back and sides are, are good old Indian rosewood, but the Guinea rosewood are really, really narrow, uh, tight green uh, uh, Indian rosewood. And you have this uh, special pattern that is on the, the back, on the mid, uh, mid joint here. Just have a look here, just here. Beautifully, tastefully done. And uh, the the sides, there's no uh, buffling lines, but the backs are uh, black, white, black uh, buffling uh, lines on the back, as well as the top. You have uh, black, white, black, white, black on the buffling uh, tops. The, the, uh, there's no abalone. This is a plastic ivory uh, uh, rosette on this guitar. I must say, the if you look uh, at this uh, sunburst, uh, it's really beautiful in person. Of course, you will not see the full glory of this on the YouTube, but you just have to see it in person and you say, this is a beautiful guitar. And the uh, head plate, uh, the way it's done, is really nicely done. The whole um, neck is gloss up. The, 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 the tuners are the none other than the expensive Waverly tuners, butter beans on this. Uh, something to know to notice uh, for the neck. The neck is a very stiff neck. What? What? Why? How does it contribute to to the neck being stiff? One is they put two steel rods on top of the uh, truss rod on this guitar from from this here all the way down to I think the fourteen fret onwards. So what you have is you compensate for all the hum at the fourteen fret. And uh, when you have a stiffer neck, uh, you actually eliminate all the wolf notes. What, what are the wolf notes? Notes that are dum, dum, there's no sustain. So uh, when you have a, a nice neck that is strong, even, you also contribute to a fatter tone. Um, the X brace is basically one inch from the sound hole. So uh, standard is the uh, bone nut and saddle, the unbleached bone nut and saddle. I've uh, played this guitar just now, and I must say it has a deep growl. Okay, just listen. This is a normal scale, not even a short scale.
uh, the the travels doesn't over overtake I mean over I mean shine the, the whole guitar but this one has a little bit more depth and mid you can see you can hear That's how it separates a good sounding guitar from a mediocre one. Okay, let's try the uh, third fret couple.
sweet sounding, man. Sweet sounding. have it the Collins uh, CJSB CJ stands for it's a small uh, special jumbo a slope jumbo with the uh, sunburst finish sick cut top with uh, a nice beautiful uh, what I call that the tobacco sunburst beautifully tastefully done uh, with the back and sides of Indian rolls with a fairly open thick sounding fat uh, Base with the nice mids and the trebles are not overpowering. Uh, this is really a strummer you can hear from the this clip, um, and beautiful head stock, beautiful uh, craftsmanship, uh, stable neck, uh, very good for you. For your finger picking, you can also use this. And uh, if you're in Singapore, the distributor I like to say is still BGW Guitars for uh, Brandon BGWGuitars.com. And uh, if you like this uh, review, you can actually post a comment just below this YouTube video. And if you want to watch more good reviews by the Guitar Spa, okay, press this button up here. Subscribe, come on, subscribe, okay. Uh, my name is Jarvis. You need to contact me. My email address is uh, Guitar Saddle, G U I T A R S A D D L E. Maybe consult me. Just shoot me an email. I'll try. Even though I'm busy to reply if I as as fast as I can. Okay, I'm really busy in my day job. Okay, this is just part time. I mean, it's a hobby thing. Okay, just for fun. Okay, I'm gonna sign up soon. I'm gonna say live with passion, play your guitar, allow love, peace, joy, wealth, health, more laughter, more peace. And look at the bright side of things, be positive and play guitar and always be nice to people. And I'll say be multiplied, blessings be multiplied to you. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.